In this tutorial, we will show you how to implement the basic database search functionality, our design built on the sample discussed in the previous tutorial. We will add a search field that will allow the user to search for authors. Actually, there are two types of search. With in-memory or quick search, all records are loaded into memory once and searched in memory immediately as you type. This way, the search is fast, but it consumes memory to hold all the records. We used a similar approach when we set up the genre filtering functionality. To be able to see books of a particular genre, we control the visibility of repeating rows and fill the data within the app itself without the need to go back to the database. Database search is executed by the database itself and returns only records found. This method is slower, but it consumes memory only for searched records. If your database is quite large, the DB search functionality will provide you with a more efficient way of running a search. Let's open the main page and make a couple of changes to the interface. We need to drag the Select Genre label and the Genre combo box to the table below. When you drag the label to the second table, Mobile Together will prompt you to delete the column from which you drag the label or to keep this column. We will keep both columns because we will use this table for the search functionality. Working on the design of your page is a flexible process. When we drag the combo box to the table below, the third column in this table will be created automatically. But make sure to drop the control at the right location. The next step is to set the first column to wrap content. Drag the label control to the empty table and name the label search. Then drag the edit field control to the second cell. Now we need to create a new attribute in the persistent tree. The attribute will be called search text. The values we enter into the search field will be written to this attribute. Drag this attribute to the search field. This way we link the attribute to the search field. The next step is to add the Find button next to the search field. Let's set up an action for this button. Drag the Reload action and make sure Book Catalog is selected. When we click the Find button, the data source will be reloaded and we'll be able to see the search results. Select Search and Find and set them to Wrap Content. Then select all the cells and make them small. To be able to actually perform a search, we need to use the Like operator in the WHERE clause. The Like operator is used to perform pattern matching. Open the Add Page Source dialog box of the data source. Then add the WHERE statement. Select the Author Name column and the Like operator. Click the XPath button and write the following expression. The like operator is often used with wildcards to match a particular pattern. In our example, we are using the percentage wildcards that match zero or more characters before and after the search string. The search string is represented by the value of the persistent attribute, search text. The double vertical bars represent the concatenation operators. They join the search string with any characters before and after the search string. The expression reads as follows. Retrieve all the records in which the value in the author name column starts with any characters, followed by the search string and ends with any characters. Run the simulation to test the DB search functionality. Type king in the search bar and hit find. As you can see, the relevant author has been found together with his books. This concludes our video series demonstrating how to create a database-driven app in mobile together. We now have a fully functional book cataloging app complete with search functionality. This app will be available simultaneously for iOS, Android and Windows devices as well as in web browsers. You can try these exercises for yourself by accessing the sample files link in the description below.